So in this lesson, we're going to look at creating our enemy and creating some health so we can actually die and, and lose the game. Um, so this should be really interesting. and It's very, very similar to what we achieved in the last one. So we're going to be using a lot of the scripts that we've already done, so a lot of duplicates. So here's the mission. Create an enemy scene and attach a script. Um, edit the main scene or main script and include the enemy and then we're going to add a health count and a health node and then finally we're going to add our enemies to the level so let's get on with this so here we are in the main scene so let's just start by creating our health so if I click on the score node and I press Control D for duplicate and then with it selected I can just move it over to the other side and you can have your health wherever you want these are starting to look a bit big so you might even want to make them smaller so we're just going to call this help so we've got the node set up and I'm going to come into the label and I'm just going to say health here as well and because my font doesn't like um, lowercase I'm just going to do it all in uppercase but you can do yours either way I'm going to start with three lives so health will start with three lives or or a bar of three whatever way you want to look at that and the idea with health is that we will we will slowly come down okay so we've added our health now let's go let's make sure we save it first so save all scenes and now let's add our enemy scene so click on the plus button and we're going to add our first node now what you'll probably notice about your enemy is it's going to be set up almost identical to your coin so we're going to start by just having an area 2d node so we'll click on this and we're just going to call it enemy and then just the same as your coin the next one we're going to have is a sprite so let's just add our sprite there and then the next one we're going to have is going to be a collision 2d so if i just select this top node and then press the add button and then collision shape 2d so before we go any further let's go and find an enemy so if we come into our assets and we go to our enemies bundle, look at this, we've got loads of enemies. And we've got loads you can choose from here. Um, absolutely up to you. I'm going to choose this one here. We've got a couple of animations we can use later on. We're not going to be animating it in this. We're just going to create a really simple enemy. So let's click on this one here and let's drag it to the texture. So for the for the actual collisions we just I'm just going to select this round head body and that's going to be where the collisions are so select the collision shape 2d and then let's add the circle and once again zoom zoom right in and let's just make sure that it covers that circle I'm not too worried if it goes slightly out because it kind of emulates him hitting the wings if he if he comes in too far that will probably do it so the next thing we need to do is lock them all together so if we click on this top level enemy and then come over to this button here um, and that will lock them all together so when it's moving around later on it'll be fine so the next thing we need to do then is to attach a script and we'll, we'll write the script um, as we go apparently we've got trains going on in the background sorry about that so let's click on the script um, make sure it's dd script and click ok so we've now got our script set up, we've now got our enemy, we do need to save our scene first. So let's just come in and save, I probably should have done that beforehand actually. So save scene, save, and let's just make sure it's called enemy. So that's called enemy and our script is called enemy, fantastic. So we're going to borrow a lot from our coin script. So if we come over to the coin script straight away, and let's just copy this. Um, so control C to copy. And then we're going to get rid of all of this and control V to paste. So we once again, we're inheriting from the main um, GD, which is how we're going to kind of um, calculate all of ours, our bits and pieces. We can't use this coin entered. So let's just let's just create another one here. So come back to the 2D node and then make sure you've got enemy selected and click on the node and remember it's body entered we do have to create this connection it won't work just copying and pasting in this instance so double click on the node make sure it's attached to enemy press connect fantastic and here it is here so the bits we can use are all of these bits on the inside so let's just grab that control C and let's just paste that in control V to paste in and what we can then do is just delete these ones 
if we don't delete it, it'll obviously cause us no end of trouble. So let's have a look. So when the enemy collides into the body, um, something will happen. So if body name is player, go and get a node. And the node you want to get is score. So if we get the score, we don't want to add score if he's dying. So we're going to say minus score. So minus five points. So it gets rid of it. We're also going to add some health to it as well. So we're going to get another node. So if we just copy this, control C and paste it underneath. Actually, let's have this one on top. So paste it here. The node that we're going to get is going to be health. If we run this now, it, it won't work. So just bear with me for a second. Now, this time, if he collides in with the enemy, he's going to lose one of his health points. OK, so that's the entire script that we need for the enemy and the enemy is done. So the next thing we need to do is just update the main script. So let's just tidy this up. Let's just make sure we save it. Had a couple of issues where it doesn't save properly. So now let's head on over to main. So here's our main script and we've got some stuff started. So in our main script, this stuff is great, but we do want to add a new variable. The new variable is the one that takes the health. So let's just copy and paste that and let's just change a few things. So the first one is we want to change this to health. And then the second one is we want to set health, not score. OK, with that done, we're then going to create a new function called health. And once again, we can copy and paste. So we can just copy this function and just change a few things. So let's just copy this, control C, and let's just paste it down below. And rather than set score, we're going to set, change it to set health. And we're going to keep the value because we, we're going to pass this value in this time. Um, so rather than it saying score, it's going to say health. Um, and then we, we are going to we're going to update two things here. So. Or should we just do no, we'll just do the one actually. So we're just going to change this node to the health node. So if we click on our main and you can see this is our health node. So it goes root main HUD and then health. And that's because I've got it directly underneath it. So it's in the same index. Now let's just change this to health. And set text. So once again, I'm going to have to do mine in capitals. And then where it says score, we're just going to change this to the variable of health. So this this one here locks into this one here. And that's how we're going to kind of set our set our scores and stuff. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So I think we're pretty much done there. So we should be able to run that. Hold on. We need to add our enemy to the scenes. Disable scenes. And let's load up. Let's load up our first level and add him to the scene. Now let's come in to our 2D node and let's go this link button. And let's find the enemy scene, which is this one here. And zoom in a little bit and let's Put him over here. So let's collect some points first and then put him over here. So hopefully if we've set up all of our things right, so we've got our health and it's going to update every single time. And if we come over to the enemy, we've got our score that will go down by five points if we collide with the enemy and our health that will go down by one point if we collide with the enemy. Um, and it will also remove the enemy as well um, once we collided with it. So save all scenes. And let's test this. All being well, we've got our score, we've got our health. So if I keep going forward, it collects 5, 10, 15. Now when I bump into this character next, so it should, once I bump into this, this should go down to 10 and this should go down to 1 if everything works. Sorry, 2. There we go. Um, it doesn't quite work, so it goes down to minus one. So let's have a little look at that. Why is that going to minus one rather than three? That The score works, though. So what we need to do is make sure health is minus one. Main node minus one. Yeah, that works. And score is minus five, and that works. So... I think the reason why that was is because, ah, uh, here we go. Yes, 
our variable is set to zero. So of course, when we when we hit it first time, it actually set it to minus one. So we need to set this to three in order for that connection to happen. So let's just save all scenes again. And let's just run that one more time. And hopefully we get that this time. There we go, so start it. So we've got the three health, we got zero. So five, 10, 15. So score should come down to 10 and health should come down to two. Yay, so everything works. And then if I carry on, um, it will carry on and it will be fine. Now, at the moment, we can't die. There isn't enough players on and we can't, the player can't actually die. So if we come back to level one and let's add some more, let's add some more. So if I control D this one, and then let's put him here. So at this point, it will be it will be one point. So let's go on to level two and add one there as well. So on level two, click on the top node, click on the link, go to our enemy player. Now, if we collide with this one, it should take us to zero. Control D, let's just add another one as well, just so it takes us into the minus numbers. Now, when it gets to zero, we do actually want to die. At the moment, that won't happen. So let's just save all scenes and let's just play that and see what happens. So, going through, all good, goes down to two, goes down to one. Um, click on that, we're going through 20, and we're now at zero, so he should have he should be gone. And at this point, we're at minus one, so we don't want minus one healths. Um, so we ha we have to just do a tiny bit more code. So we're going to go back in to the main scene, and we're just going to add one. Or just a couple more lines of code. So inside the health, we need to set up an if statement. So we need to say if health, which is the variable at the top, is Let's say less than or equal to zero, do something. So if it's less than or equal to zero, let's do something. Now the thing that I want to do is send it to the, the end screen. So let's go to our next level script and let's just copy a bit of text here. So let's get this bit here. And if you didn't, yeah, you all did this one. Control copy, go back to our enemy. Sorry, go back to our main. And let's just paste that in there. Control V to paste. Now the only bit we need to change is this because I want to send it. So when it gets to zero points, I want to send it to the game over screen. Okay, so there's my um, speech marks. So let's go and find the game over screen. So where are you? Start game, next game. Can't see you. End game scene. There it is. So right click, copy path. And let's just paste path in there. And now, so when you get to zero points, it will go to the end scene and it'll basically be game over. So let's save all scenes and let's just test that. So start our game. We know all this works. We're happy enough with that. That goes down to two. That goes down to one. We move on to the next game and this should kill us. And there we go, good game. Uh, that should say game, end games. It doesn't really matter, but that's what we were aiming for. It gives us our points. And we basically have our initial mechanics. There are lots of things that we can do here. We can animate the character. We can make it slightly harder for him to interact with. We can shoot the character to add more points and things like that. So in the extension tasks, we will add all that. But if you don't want to do the extension tasks, that's pretty much all you have to do. So get that inputted, and um, I'll see you in the next lesson.